Today we're checking out the new Life Exhibit at the Orlando Science Center. It's over 10,000 square feet and over a $13 million investment here. We get a behind the scenes look on all the new additions. Come take a look. What are some of the changes that we've seen and what is life all about? Okay, that's a big question. What is life all about? <laughs> um, Orlando Science Center has been in this community since 1955, and we've always been really dedicated to inspiring science learning for life. And we do that through all kinds of experiences, through exhibits, through guest speakers, through movies, through big events, but it's really through like hands-on immersive experiences. Uh, when this building opened in 1997, it, it opened with uh, a, a nature area called Nature Works, which was uh, a very popular area, but it was relatively small. And we have been working for the last 10 years on something we call the Unlock Science Campaign. This is an effort to raise money to expand experiences, increase access, um, develop additional resources, and renovate. And we're seeing the product of, of, the, of those efforts. This has been a two-year uh, construction effort. We broke ground in June of 2022. How much was the investment into the place? It's a $13.5 million investment. It's a big investment. It's a very big investment. It's the most expensive exhibit that we've ever built in our history. It is made possible through the generosity of Orange County through a grant from the Tourist Development Tax, uh, also through generous donations from private donors, including Dr. Sarah Layton, who made the largest individual contribution in our history, more than $3 million, which is uh, why life is presented by Dr. Sarah Layton. Amazing. Now, a lot of people might not know that the tourist tax doesn't just go towards the big tourist Disney Universal, yeah. that sort of thing. They can actually take advantage of that, and we can take advantage of it living here. Now, it breaks up, the life breaks up into three different areas. What's yes. that about? Life breaks up into three different galleries, each one immersive exploring a different area of our environment with different animals. You've got the swamp, the ocean, and the rainforest. There are animals in each one. There used to be a division between uh, people and, and the swamp when they were in the old exhibit. So now you're right there and you're almost at eye level of the, of the creatures in the swamp. The gators are actually with us on loan from Gatorland. Oh, wow, okay. And so the gators come to us as babies from Gatorland. And then once they get three feet from nose to tail, when they get too large for our environment, they go back to Gatorland, and then Gatorland swamps them out with another uh, group of babies. So we're kind of like alligator preschool. <laughs> Little incubator for yeah. that. That's so yeah. great. Some turtles and squirrels in this environment. <laughs> and then you've got owls in that environment. And then you can see the squirrels oh running through the trail right now. And... Uh, so this is their home, right? So no one's on a schedule. So it's like it's sometimes you come, the squirrels will be out. Sometimes they'll come, the squirrels will be resting. There is, there is front of house uh, opportunities for our animals and there are back of house opportunities uh, for our animals. And it's their choice where they want to be. You don't want to be directly under the squirrels. I because, was literally just thinking. Yes, <laughs> because you know, the squirrels. They like to. The, yeah, they, 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 they like the box because snacks are often in the box. Uh -huh. But yeah, yeah squirrels, squirrels don't schedule like a, a bathroom break like humans. <laughs> so you want to be very careful where you're walking when they're out. That's very smart. Someone's constantly walking yeah, in here cleaning yeah, up. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Okay, now we're moving into the ocean. The big centerpiece of this exhibit is the, uh, is the shark habitat right here. We have the bonnethead shark. Uh, he, he's, a baby, he's a baby shark. <laughs> um, that's Loki. He is less than a year old. All Loki. the, <laughs> Loki. All the, all the, all the fish within the aquarium though are the fish that you would find if you were diving off the coast of Florida. So these are all, you know, fit, uh, Florida Caribbean fish. And so again, that's a heavy education in terms of what you're gonna see in, in our environment. And then there's another tank just uh, nearby that is promoting uh, Pacific uh, Ocean marine life. It looks like there's a bit of a hands-on thing going on yeah, over here. Yeah, again, you know, a hallmark of Orlando Science Center is this hands-on learning um, interactive. So there, we have this kiosk here in the ocean area, and this is, you're pulling together different uh, elements, shells, fish, 
starfish that you would see out in the environment and creating basically a digital kaleidoscope effect based on those images. So it's, an, it's, a, it's a fun interactive art piece, but it's also educating the type of things that you would find in, in the ocean. So the original Kidstown space, which is about 3,000 square feet, was down here and it, 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 it was that and the Nature Works area. So when we opened the new Kidstown area, we slowly retired the old Kidstown area. And the plan was always when, when we were ready, we would expand the nature area to absorb the old Kidstown space. So basically what you've got is the space we're in now, the 13,000 square feet, um, that encompasses you know, front of house and back of house for this exhibit but it absorbs the old nature works, it absorbs the old kids town, and then there's some back of house areas that it took care of as well. But there's some tremendous infrastructure to support the exhibit. There really is, yeah. What do we get to interact with here? Okay, the fishing urchin over there. Oh. Um, this is a well, so it's kind of similar to a cat. And then over here's our cowrie snail. Oh my gosh. Do you feel like the community is embracing it enough though? Like I feel like there's still so much opportunity maybe. I think there's always room to grow. I mean, Orlando is always growing. It's always growing. You know, and, and you want to be a resource for the community. So, no, I think there's tremendous room for growth and not just for us, for the entire arts and culture scene here in Orlando. We've got some amazing art museums. We've got a great history center. We've got a world-class performing arts center. Uh, there's a lot of things for families to take advantage of here. And we're thrilled with 14,000 households, but yeah, there's, there's so much room to grow. There's so much more, because we are here for the entire community and looking forward to people joining. We, we do expect that we will see an increase in those memberships due to the impact of the life exhibit. When we opened that Kids Town exhibit in 2016, we saw a similar boost. Sure. So we're, we're, expecting, we're expecting some nice growth moving forward. We're about to enter the rainforest. It simulates a rainforest environment. So it's going to be a tad balmier than it is in the other <laughs> exhibit spaces. So yeah, be, uh, prepare yourself. Izzy, our sloth, is hanging out right up there. And uh, so that's her favorite spot. We actually went down and we, we dug into the foundation, created, dropped a couple of tons of dirt and mulch, planted all these trees and plants and irrigation. These, these trees here that look fake are actually reclaimed. These were trees that were originally, um, that had been taken down, you know, Due to whatever reason, um, and uh, you know they had they had they had come down previously. We reclaimed them, repurposed them, and uh, for these very particular displays. So you've got turtles on display in here. You've got the sloth. You've got several different species of birds, um, and you've got in the trees over here. At, oh, and they are out. We've got some golden lion-headed tamarins in the tree right right over here. This is one of the more unique opportunities that we're going to have because it, it shows an environment that we, we don't often get to go to. Yeah. We may come go to the swamp or see that Florida wildlife and we'll, we'll probably, a lot of us go to the ocean, right? Sure. How many of us get a chance to come to the rainforest, get to, get to stand under a sloth or look up and check out the tamarins in the trees? This is, this is a very special Incredible. place. Incredible. Yeah. So, so what's your favorite part of the exhibit? Um, just all the animals living out here together at the same time. It's a super cool experience for people who don't get to see things like this normally. Yeah. And normally when you go to a zoo, uh, you'll have things in different areas, but here they're all living in one area together. Pay the general admission, you get life in four floors of exhibits with the Science Center. And uh, we're open every day this summer from 10 to 5. And so we're thrilled to be able to offer this to the community. You know, it's to, you know, science is everywhere, whether that is outer space or the rainforest. And we need to explore the different impacts that science has on our life and create experiences that inspire learning, inspire advocacy. So we are, we are really happy to have life here to be able to share this with the community. Thanks again, Jeff. Appreciate Thank you, you. absolutely. Yeah, of course.
The new Life Exhibit opens up on April 11th, but make sure you come check out not only the Life Exhibit, but everything else going on here at the Orlando Science Center. It really is one of those true hidden gems for locals and tourists to come enjoy. We'll see you guys on the next video.